Today I'm going to show you how to assemble an external SATA hard disk drive. As you can see from the properties of my C drive, it has only got about 10% of free space. So I need to move some videos and picture files to an external hard drive. My laptop is now connected to an external case. It's a Nexstar 3 which contains a 2.5 inch SATA drive and you'll see it's got connections to 3 which is USB 3 and S for SATA and the hard drive inside spins at 7200 RPM which is faster than the 5400 RPM drive in the laptop. Because my laptop doesn't have USB 3 and it has eSATA, I still need to plug in the USB lead to get power to run the hard drive. If I had USB 3, I wouldn't need to plug in the USB 2 or eSATA leads. Looking at the end of the case, you can see there's a blue light which when the hard drive is reading or writing, the light will flash. I'll now show you what parts you need and how to assemble them so that you can have your own external hard disk drive. You'll need the case, which in this case is an XSTAR 3 with outputs to USB 3 and eSATA and it holds a two and a half inch hard disk drive of your choice. And the end of the case has connections which go to your computer. Inside the case is a tray which holds the hard disk drive in place which first needs to be plugged into that grey connector. There's a lot of electronics on the tray which go to your USB port on your computer or the eSATA port. I chose an Atachi HGST 1 terabyte hard drive. It spins at 7200 RPM and there's the connections on the left, the gold pins which plug into that grey connector. After securing the hard drive into that grey connector, gently turn it over and give each of the four screws a few turns before tightening them up gently. Also you need to insert two screws in the end to hold the case together. You're then ready to insert the USB 3 and eSATA connections as required. I needed the eSATA lead and for power the USB 2. Just connect the eSATA lead before you connect power and disconnect the USB lead before the eSATA lead. <laughs>